is up guys it's me it's Sana, and today i am back with another video look at me just pouring out videos left and right it's all going great um today we are going to be making some almond butter cake have i ever made this before no this is going to be the first time i'm making this um well yes since i've never made it before so that was a dumb question um we're gonna make it gluten-free because you know still have to eat gluten-free we're gonna have to do a lot of things so we'll see how long it takes <laughs> Okay, so I will link the recipe in the description down below so you guys can make it too because there's a shit ton of ingredients for this. Also, um, it's usually it's just butter cake without the almond filling, but I found a recipe with almond filling in it. So I already have the almond, ow, ow. I already have the almond filling. So I'm not gonna be making that since I already have it. The recipe that I'm gonna link also has a recipe for the almond filling in it so you guys should be fine you guys should figure out how to make it <laughs> so what we need for the almond butter cake we need a large egg a teaspoon of water three-fourth cup plus two tablespoons of sugar four ounces of almond paste just i don't know how much this is but i i'm hoping this is four ounces i don't know two sticks of unsalted butter we only have salted butter so oh well we need to soften that to room temperature, so I should probably, you know, start doing that. We need a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. We need one fourth or one and a half teaspoon of pure almond extract. Um, it's according to your preference. Uh, one three fourth cup of all purpose flour. I'm using gluten free flour since I'm going to be making this recipe gluten free and one fourth teaspoon kosher or sea salt. And for the topping, we need another large, it says one large egg white, uh, another tablespoon of granulated sugar and a cup of sliced almonds. So I've got the almonds here, so I need to slice those. <laughs> I do need two eggs, I'm gonna stupid. it. So we need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's do that. Grease an eight inch pie plate with butter and set aside. I'm not gonna do it with butter. I'm gonna be doing it with olive oil. Done. Next, okay, so I need to melt this butter. It says room temperature, but I got the butter out of the freezer a little bit too late, so we're just gonna have to melt it. Okay, that is one. You two are gonna melt. Break one egg into a small bowl and mix it with the fork. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Right. So let's beat this egg with a fork. So this is what my egg looks like now. Um, we're gonna have to take one teaspoon. All right, well, the butter is done. Okay, so we're gonna have to get one teaspoon of egg. It's a teaspoon of egg and one teaspoon of water. One teaspoon of water with a one teaspoon of egg to make an egg wash. Set both bowls aside. Interesting. In a medium mixing bowl, an electric mixer, which I've got right here. Beat sugar and almond paste together. Okay, how much sugar do we need again? Three fourths plus two tablespoons. Okay. One, two, three. Beat it together until the largest pieces are the size of small peas. This is gonna be fun. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the current situation. <laughs> um, my phone's all disgusting now, so that is awesome. Um, we need to add the butter. And beat it until white and fluffy. Okay, so I said light and fluffy. I think I should keep mixing it. <laughs> okay, I think we're good now. Uh, at the larger amount of egg. Go, little egg in there and vanilla and almond extracts and a half teaspoon one teaspoon add the flour and salt and mix until a thick dough forms okay And now we gotta beat it again, I think, right? Yes. And mix until a thick dough form. Get in here. I should probably grab some. This is what it looks like, by the way. I don't think I showed you, so this is what it looks like. So now we need to brush the egg wash over the top. Mine looks a lot more gooey than what the, uh, the one in the picture <laughs> looks like. So we'll see how it turns out. Now we need to use, where's my fork? There it is. Now we need to use a fork and just create a cross hatch pattern on top. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, make the topping. Gross, okay, well at least I got the egg to make up. One tablespoon of sugar, okay. sliced almonds so let's go slice some almonds After a good 20 minutes of slicing up some almonds, they're finally done. God. Now we just gotta mix it with the egg and sugar mixture. Okay, and then we can arrange the topping on top of the cake as desired. Okay, so that is done. I think I laid on some eggs with my arms. Okay, and now we need to bake the cake for 35 to 40 minutes or until golden brown and glossy on top. The cake will slice clean will mean completely cool, but maybe slices and served warm from the pan after 35 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, starting now. Now it's time to clean up. I will see you guys again in 40 minutes.
stars. 